World leaders will soon meet in Paris to try to make a climate deal. Their aim is to curb greenhouse gas emissions to stop the world heating up by more than two degrees compared to before the Industrial Revolution. But what does a world that's two degrees warmer look like? And if the deal fails and global warming carries on unchecked, then what will the world look like by the end of the century? Computer models can help us project the effects of global warming. For example, increasing temperatures will change the extreme weather that the world experiences. Let's think about the hottest and rainiest days you could expect to happen before the Industrial Revolution. That's these. These days are so extremely hot or wet, they happened only once every three years on average. But they're the kind of events that can cause wildfires or flooding. So what happens if the world heats up by two degrees, the limit we're trying to stay under? A hotter atmosphere holds more water vapour. So, overall, we'd expect these heavy rainfall days to happen about 50% more often. The picture for hot days is even more dramatic. A two degree hotter world would have about 25 times more of these days compared to before the Industrial Revolution. Of course, it's not just extreme weather that we have to worry about. Sea levels are also on the rise. Ice sheets melting and the heat expanding the ocean could mean sea levels rise by about 60 centimetres by 2100 compared to the 1800s. Bad news for countries like the Marshall Islands. So these are some of the impacts of a two degree world, the limit world leaders are aiming for. But what if we don't do anything to curb our emissions? Well, then we're heading for a world that's more like four degrees hotter than pre-industrial times. In this world, the seas could rise by a total of a metre or more compared to before the Industrial Revolution. That could cause serious flooding for low-lying cities like Miami and Bangkok. And what about the weather? It's hard to be sure what a four degree world would look like, but we can be sure that it would have even bigger extreme impacts. The downpour days have more than doubled, and we're looking at around 100 times the number of extremely hot days. That's going to make areas like the Middle East uninhabitable. Which of these two worlds are we heading for? Based on the science and what countries have said they'll do so far, we're heading somewhere in between, around three degrees. In fact, temperatures have already risen by about 0.8 degrees since the Industrial Revolution. Staying under two degrees could mean having to suck huge amounts of CO2 out the atmosphere, something we don't yet have the technology for. So what world leaders decide in Paris will have a huge impact on what world we're living in at the end of this century. And if we're going to stay under two degrees, the Paris meeting is only the start.